So, I mean, obviously you talked about these 50 audio books, right? So like what, what, what of those 50 or maybe two or three of them are you reading right now that has given you a lot of value today? Mm. Do you know what, rather than like the individual books, because I've got, actually, you know, I'm listening to like five at the same time, so I try and remember them. But one, one thing that I found really interesting listening to audiobooks, like, like Barack Obama's um, book, and um, there's a couple of politicians here in the UK. This is really random. Like, I'm not really into politics, but again, you go to like some of these individuals' journeys throughout their lives, and even like get, getting elected in any country through like a democratic process is obviously very complicated. Whether it's that, whether it's like a business audiobook or something like that, or, or even like some silly things like I've um, listened to a lot of comedians books. There's a guy in the UK called Jimmy Carr because they're funny, they're lightweight, but often they're kind of geared around their life journeys and overcoming, you know, being a nobody to being a really famous comedian or whatever it might be. They're just really interesting journeys to go around again, back to that intention piece, like being really purpose driven, what you want to achieve in your life professionally and personally and then putting that work in to get there every single day, measuring yourself, having a little structure for that, et cetera. You realize, well, certainly what I realize, other than like pure talent, whether that's like comedic talent, act, acting talent, musician talent, et cetera, they all have this one thing shared, which is really hard work. <laughs> like really, really taking that stuff seriously. And like I said, being very purpose-driven into what you want to achieve, politics, music, TV, et cetera. So that's just been something across every book I've read or like audio book I've listened to where if you're looking at someone who's like top of their game there's a shared value and a shared principle that everybody has and um almost reminds you of that you know that you've got to keep doing that if you want to achieve whatever it is next in your life be it personal or professional goal 